Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to check out Shapes.io, a simplistic but absolutely addictive conveyor belt factory simulator. Let's dive into the game right away. We can see this is the hub, this is where we have to deliver all of the items. We are working with shapes and colors. In the beginning we don't have many options. We can for instance place a couple of extractors and conveyor belts in order to extract materials and bring it to the hub. Now you have to think big in this game and we will come to realize that very shortly. Right now I'm just delivering the circles in order to unlock the first level. Easy enough and we get access to the cutter tool. The cutter tool right here has one input and two outputs. We take one of our circles right here, put that in and on the other side the shape is going to be cut vertically into two pieces. Right now we only really need the left side so let's grab that and input it into our hub. Since we don't need the right side at this moment we can simply go ahead and trash it. And there we go, we have reached level 2 and unlocked the upgrades. Upgrades are very important since it's going to allow us to increase the speed of various things. Right now I want to increase the speed of belts, distributors and tunnels. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. And we can now see what we need in order to upgrade this even further. To make this more convenient for myself, I'm just going to pin everything that we require at this moment. To unlock one of the most useful items, the balancer, we are going to need a bunch of squares. So let's go ahead and set up some extractors. And of course we're going to belt everything up, making sure we are collecting those as soon as possible. The shapes right now of course are very simplistic, however it's going to get a lot more complicated very soon. And a lot of these shapes you want to keep on producing in order to be able to upgrade. For instance the circle, we're going to need a whole bunch of those before we want to give up on them. There we go, we unlocked the balancer, this is basically allowing us to split and merge belts together very efficiently. We can see there's plenty of free space on these belts and of course that is not very efficient so what we can do is just merge everything together and then we just let them come out on one end. So if we just connect this to the hub we have the same amount of circles going in but of course we are only using up one slot of the hub. Now for the most part everything I'm doing here is temporary since we first need to unlock the great machinery to be more efficient. However we should go ahead and also merge these together in order to save a little bit on space here as well. We are after the next shape here which is simply a cut square, so let's go ahead and do that. In order to be more efficient about this I'm going to set up about 5 cutters or so. We're then going to use a balancer on each of the cutters in order to distribute the materials. One of the slots of the balancer is just going to be a throughput and the other slot is going to actually go into the cutter. On the other side we can see the shape we require is on the top slot, so the bottom slot technically we can just go ahead and delete using the trash. The other slot on the other side however we want to go ahead and merge together again so this is just going in here and then once again we're going to have a throughput so on this side right here we should have the throughput of all of these cutters in order to get the shape that we want. Here we go we have the 70 items in order to unlock the rotation tool. We now need the top half of a circle and of course we can see if we rotate the top output of our cutters there by 90 degrees we should get this top circle. So let's go ahead and add a rotation slot right there and there in order to get the top half and this is also going to be unlocked very soon. Of course if I wanted to be more efficient about this and be quicker I would now add a couple more lines to it. However the efficiency is going to kick in as soon as we have access to all the tools. In the meantime we could already look out for a star shape, we're going to need 500 of those. If we zoom out a little bit we should be able to find that very soon, for instance right here we have the star shape. So what we're going to do right here is also combine a bunch of these together. We can do that with a pyramid shape just like that and then we are going all the way over. Holding shift is going to allow you to plan out a really long belt without building it immediately. And there we go, it's now hooked up to the hub and we should be collecting all of these stars, eventually helping us with the upgrades. Speaking of upgrades, we already unlocked the tier 1 extraction, so we can make our extractors a little bit faster and we can now see there is a new item we require and we still need to keep collecting on the squares. We now also need to collect the lower half of the squares, so what we're gonna do is get rid of our trash cans there. And if we go ahead and rotate the other half as well, we get the lower half circle. Now of course I'm already running into space issues and that is going to be a problem in the beginning but we will be deleting this and building the factories further away. So for now we're just going to collect the circles at the bottom here. And there we go, we have unlocked the tunnel, very important, so we can actually also make use of this other half. Let's go ahead and rotate this as well. 
and then we're gonna use a tunnel in order to get out of there we are gonna move over and then at this point we're actually going to merge the items so now we're also collecting these at double the speed it looks as though we don't need to collect the top circles anymore so we can get rid of these lines and actually cut them up one more time in order to get this quarter top circle on the right side we just unlocked another upgrade using the stars great in order to get to the next tier, we already collected enough of the half squares, now we just need more stars. Usually my goal is going to be to always have a full belt of materials that we require going into the hub, but you know, right at the beginning you don't always have to be that efficient. However, I want to be a little more efficient about this contraption now, so let's go ahead and rebuild this. We're going to add four extractors feeding into four cutting machines. So this can simply be hooked up like so. We then want to go ahead and trash the left side for the time being. We want to go ahead and rotate the right side. And of course at this point the right side still has to be cut up one more time. But that is no problem. Just like so. And it looks as though in this case we want to utilize the left side of the cutter. Let's now go ahead and merge all of these together. Not very elegantly. But once again all of this is going to disappear again once we build bigger and also think bigger but there we go now i have all of these that i can simply input into my hub and the task should be completed very efficiently and voila unlocked the next machine the painter where we can introduce items and paint in order to paint stuff and there's even color mixing as well we now need to deliver 300 red circles that should be no problemo for us we still need to collect the top right quarter circle, however, we also need a full circle that is red at this point. We already have the color red here and we are collecting circles that we don't really need at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is actually bring these guys over here. And then I guess at this point we could set up maybe five, they are not very fast. We also want to set up balancers for each of those. We bring in the main throughput and just connect these up to each of the painters. We're also going to set up five extractors for the colors and simply bring them over here individually. None of these are elaborate setups just yet, I want to get the unlocks out of the way first. We then take some underground belts in order to bring over the materials, namely our red circles and at this point I believe we should be able to merge them all back together. So let's have some balancers hooked up everywhere like so, so they all come down to one line and we are going to bring them all back to the hub little tunnel for you and you go right in there and just like that we are collecting the red circles now we also have a couple more upgrades ready one for our extraction it seems we still need to collect these so we need to keep this in place but now we also need cyan stars so this is a color that actually doesn't exist raw in the world we first have to mix this color together also another tier for cutting rotating and stacking so this can be a little bit faster and you can see this shape now is probably the most complicated for now two different colors and two different shapes that we need to cut up. And voila, completed level 7 in order to give us the rotation counterclockwise. The next thing we need is a cut-up square just like these, but it should be painted. So let's go ahead and do that. We do not need the red circles anymore, so what I'm gonna do is control and drag over this entire area, hit the delete button and just get rid of it. Just to be sure, since we probably need to collect more circles, I'm gonna make sure the circles go back into the hub. Now let's find some squares together with a blue color. Right here we can see we have both available, so let's go ahead and plan this out. I want to have at least six belts for each, the squares and the colors. Just gonna combine everything together and right here smack in the middle, we're gonna paint and cut things up. In case I haven't mentioned it yet, you can rotate stuff with R and you can mirror it using T. Most of the machines have some kind of a variant to make things easier. We are gonna go ahead and set up about five of these machines once again. We want to make sure that we have a convenient way to get all the materials in there. This is gonna be the throughput line and everything else should go into the painters. Thinking about this, I want the paint slots to be at the bottom so I can reach those a bit easier by setting up some balancers like so. This time we're gonna have our throughput on the left side and then we're gonna use that in order to input the color. And on the other side we should see the colored squares. We're then gonna use underground belts in order to get these squares out of the way so we can start to cut them up. Since they are already conveniently spaced out, let's just go ahead and set up the cutters right adjacent to the belts. The output on the top slot is already oriented the right way, however the bottom slot requires two of the rotators. So the top slot can come out right away and then we're gonna take a bunch of rotators to fill these in. 
We are then going to combine all of these items, just stacking them up with our pyramid shape, which is probably more than one belt can handle. However, in this game, it's always better to have more than less, I would assume. So let's go ahead and input this into our hub. That's what I'm talking about. We could even have a secondary belt if we wanted to. I mean, since it's actually free of cost, why not just go ahead and do it? I already collected enough of these cut up circles. So I think what I'm going to do is take away half of it and we're going to convert everything into bottom semicircles. We're going to need to rotate these into the other direction and that should be the correct direction. Yeah, we get all the bottom circles. So let's just go ahead and combine everything like so. We're going to bring this up and back into the hub. Oh, level eight completed the mixer. All right, now things are getting interesting. Ah, new upgrade available. That's what I'm talking about. Mixing and painting is already made faster. And we have a new shape that we need to sooner or later take care of. The color we first want to get is magenta. And we should be able to achieve that using blue and red, as you can see from this graphic here. We have circles, red color and blue color. This is absolutely perfect. Obviously, there are various ways to be efficient about everything. And we will make use of a variety of designs. It's actually going to be crazy what you can do. Oh, another upgrade is available. Nice. Faster belt speed. I can definitely use that. We're gonna combine five extractors for red and blue each. That is a good number to start with. And you know, we can combine them quite easily. So just something like that is gonna do the trick. We have red and we have blue. Now let's go ahead and set up the balancers for the red color first. That is simply gonna come in here and of course hook up to each of these input slots on the left side. We're then gonna do something similar for the blue color at the bottom coming right in going through everything and then of course we want to take a turn but at this point we also want to set up underground belts directly leading into the inputs. There we go just like that hook everything up and we should be golden with the magenta color on the other side. Since I still don't have the upgraded version of the balancer, we are still limited. However, let's just go ahead and paint some circles. We can probably do something simplistic like that. Also five of these guys. I'm gonna grab another belt that comes in right here for the color slot. And thinking about this, I might want to put this a little bit further back so we can have some underground belts. So now we have all of this output space available for us and we can still connect the colors just like that. We are then going to extract a couple of circles, put them together, loop them over to the painters. And of course we want to set up our balancers as per use, grab another belt, get the throughput going and then hook up each of these to the machine. On the other side, of course, we now get the painted circle that we want to merge back together. And let me see, where's my hop? Right over there. So for now, I think I'm just going to do it somewhat like this. That should actually be working out. These come in like so. This is our throughput. Come on, come in on the side. Sometimes the belts are a little bit finicky. But here we go. With not too much issues, we got things going. Uh, let's actually use this belt right here and get rid of one line of the blue cut squares. What we can do at this point is simply merge these lines together. So at least we still get plenty of them. However, now we are delivering and about to unlock the compact merger. Oh, I'm gonna love that. We should now do the same thing with the stars. We need the cyan color, which we can get from green and blue. We have the stars right here, green and blue ready as well. So I think this is the perfect spot to do this. Instead of bringing the stars to my hub for the time being, I'm gonna utilize those in order to build this new contraption. Let's make the color first. As per usual, we're gonna set up at least five extractors. You know, the more the merrier. Then we go ahead and combine everything together, just like that. Get these hooked up as well. And of course, we're going to do a similar setup for the bottom one. Merge, 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 merge. There we have our two colors. We need to mix them together. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. We now get the variants of the balancer, which is going to make things so much more convenient. Looking at this, I might want to set them up a little bit differently. For instance, like so. We're going to input the blue color like this. This is going to be our throughput and this is going into the paint mixer. And I actually want to move up a little bit and probably bring this over using a underground belt. Oh, hold on. A new upgrade available. Oh, yes. Now we're actually talking and you can see we still have to collect all of the shapes we already made for the previous factory. So I'm glad we left those running. But let's get back to mixing some paint. This is going to be my green color right there underground belts all over the place in order to get into the second slot. 
and we hook these up like so. Wonderful. To keep this convenient, we're just gonna utilize the space. Maybe be a little bit wasteful, but it's all gonna be fine. Couple of balancers on this side. This line here can move up into the balancers and obviously into our painters. On the other side, we're gonna use our underground belts once again. This is gonna allow us to deal with the output easily. We're gonna be hooked up right there. And we should have our cyan stars. Now with the new balancer variants, we actually have the possibility to let in items from the side of the belt and join it. And yeah, this makes a huge difference in how you can extract materials out of your machines. We then want to go ahead and bring this all the way back to the hub using our previous belt. Wonderful, check this out. And here come the stars we are delivering for level 10 in order to unlock the stacker, the next very interesting machine and actually the last tool that is still missing here in our toolbar. We still need to collect tons of these magenta circles, so why don't we go ahead while we wait and actually upgrade this machine. We can simply add more of these, just expand this by two painters for instance. And all we have to do is copy things over. Should be no problem. We can also see that these lines are not moving constantly. So we already know this is backing up and we have the potential to add more. And that is exactly what we shall do. Just copy this over one more time. You now come in from the bottom like so. Get rid of that and uh, hold on. We need more underground belts right there and right there. Wonderful. This should... No, I still need to add those. And of course, if we wanted to be thorough, we could make this a little bit slicker now since we have the variant of the balancer making the output a little bit smoother. We come all the way up here like so. Wonderful. Now we should get many more of these circles in a shorter period of time. Always useful. Level 10 completed and we unlocked the stacker. Now we can actually combine various shapes. We can cut them up, combine them differently. We can even combine them in a way so they overlap on multiple levels. We're gonna keep on collecting the science stars. We should now go for this mushroom or squid or whatever you want to call that. However, we have this shape available somewhere. Let me see. Yeah, the further you go out, the more complicated shapes you will find. But this is actually a basic shape. For instance, we can find it right there. It requires cyan and green. Since we have green and blue already ready here, I think this is the perfect spot to do this. I'm gonna set up a marker. I'm just gonna call this squid for the time being so I can find it again. What I actually rather do first is initiate the mixing and painting upgrade right here. This is not a shape that I found thus far. So I believe we'll have to do some cutting. For instance, we have this shape. If we cut this vertically, then rotate one piece 180 degrees, we should be able to get the shape we require. Let's go ahead and actually do this. We're first gonna extract everything as per usual. Put everything niftily on one single belt. There we go. We then want to go ahead and use a bunch of these cutting tools. I'm just going to go with five for the time being since I do not know what the upgrades are actually going to do in terms of speed. But I want to make sure that I always keep it so I can expand it in case I need to. Throughput for the entire shape and then we are going to go ahead and cut it up. We then need to figure out which version we have to rotate. So this is already the right way if you see that. We can actually get rid of the other shape, the squares. We don't need those. We are then going to take half of our output. So maybe five wasn't a good number. We're going to go with six. Let me go ahead and add another one. But yeah, essentially we want to rotate it by 180 degrees. Now we have these two halves ready in order to merge together. The stacker it is called. And we're going to do this right at this point. So there we go. That shape wasn't actually too difficult to get together. So another one here, another one there. And hold the phone. What did I do? Yeah, of course, this lower shape here doesn't need to be rotated. That is already in the right direction. Wonderful. We're then going to need a little bit of red in the mix. So we're going to set this up at this point and we need to bring it all the way over here somehow. Since everything is quite far apart, I don't think I need to take care of anything. All we need to do is set up a bunch of mergers. Uh, let's see, we want to do that two squares in front of the painter. We're then going to merge those into here. Use an underground belt to connect the throughput slot and hook these up like so. Easy peasy. Wonderful. Let's bring these out. Where is my hop again? On the right side. So we are probably going to go down at this point. And we want to use the balancer in order to allow materials to merge onto one belt. Great. Here is my material. Let's make sure we are going to the hop, which is all the way over here. Hmm. Ah, we can directly connect to this slot. 
And here is my red shape that is kind of weird. We need a lot of those so I'm assuming I will be expanding this design in order to accommodate more on the belts. But this can now already do its thing in the background. Let's take care of this next shape here, the squid. Alright then, to wrap up this introduction into the game, we have to make two more shapes in order to be able to get our upgrades and also progress in the levels. First things first, I probably want to set up the colors that I'm gonna require. So we're gonna need green and blue in order to make the cyan. But soon enough, we're gonna have a new technique to actually extract the materials and make these contraptions a bit easier. Let's try this slightly differently this time. I'm gonna rearrange a few things for this contraption. We're gonna input the green on the right side and then the blue is gonna be input on the left side. So if we can, I actually need a little bit more space. So blue is gonna come from the top down and then green is gonna come from the bottom up. Actually, I have to put them right here so we can access the slot. I'm gonna get my throughput and then also my connections for the green one. And naturally, the same thing with the blue color. We should then be able to bring these guys out just using a underground belt. And we're gonna go ahead and combine everything on this side. Uh, can I use... yeah, I should be able to use a balancer to get these in. Something like that. Wonderful. You go through there. And here we have the sign color for the bottom part of the squid. Let's also extract some more green paint to do the rest. What we want to do now is cut this shape, paint the bottom one with cyan and then the top one with green before we combine them again and rotate the whole thing. So let's just go ahead and prepare a little something here. Get myself a nice flow of items. We then want to go ahead and cut these guys up in a way so we can expand it in the future should we need to. Add a bunch of those guys to split everything up and of course connect it. Here we are, we have the outputs. Let's go ahead, separate those and paint them. To do that, I'm gonna replace the left output of the cutter with a conveyor belt. The right side can just flow down and we're gonna use a balancer to merge everything. There we go. And of course, we also have to use the balancers to merge everything on the other side. Wonderful. Both of our shapes ready. We're gonna go ahead and set up a bunch of painters downwards. Get our balancers in the joint. Connect the this and that. Don't act up. This is of course the top part of the squid, so this needs to be green. We have green ready right there. You go in here, wonderful. We then take the product and extract it over using a bunch of underground belts. And of course we also want to stitch them back together onto one single belt afterwards. Now we're gonna do the very same thing, but with the cyan color and the bottom part of the squid. By the way, I almost forgot, there is another upgrade we unlocked. We are taking that faster extraction for sure. And now you can see the shapes are slowly but surely getting more complicated. And also, obviously, you need to collect more of them. Sign color needs to go up, throughput is right there. And now I can conveniently hook this up. I should also be able to extract it still, even though it's getting cozy slowly. Actually, this is a little less convenient than I first thought. We might want to change that up. Let's use an underground belt to get over here. And instead, we're gonna leave this in there. And now we should have enough space. Get these outputs on one single belt as well. Wonderful. And if we go underground right there, we should be able to connect both together again. Look at that. We have both shapes ready. I guess at this point all we need to do now is stack them back together and immediately after we want to rotate them as well. Um, let's do five, that's fine. Everything is expandable. I can expand upwards here and I can expand downwards at this point. However, at the moment I believe the cutting part is taking the longest. This might be the problem. And well, I guess at this point you already know the drill. We're gonna input both of our shapes. Something along these lines, wonderful. And the other shape is gonna go right there, hooking up to the other slot. This is gonna give us just enough wiggle room in order to get these items out of there. I'm using this space phenomenally. Belt going down, this is our main output at this point. We just need to make sure we actually stack everything up correctly. To rotate them the correct way, we need one of you. And we can now see our output is what we need. Let's see, where is the hub again? Probably, uh, uh, where am I? It's easy to get lost, I think. Yeah, I believe at this point I'm actually gonna free up some space on the right side of the hub, so I can utilize that. We have our squid contraption right here. Let's move up this way and then move up over, over, uh, hub, hub, hub. Yeah, I'm completely lost at this point. I think it's actually up here and over. 
at some point. Yeah, there we go, found it. I'm actually moving up to my other contraption so I can run the belts kind of along each other. Yes, there we go, move that right into my hub. Great stuff! There we go, that's what I'm talking about. This is gonna be our currency, we need only 1000 of these shapes, but it's good we made them already. Alright, cool, I think this is actually gonna be enough as an introduction into the game. The further we progress, the crazier it's actually gonna get. Most of these factories I'm gonna destroy again and rebuild in a more reasonable way. Especially all the items we obviously need for upgrades and everything. But yeah, you can see as soon as we upgrade the extraction the next time, we probably need more of these parts again. We'll have to see how this exactly turns out. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye bye.